Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you. It is Christmas Day. Um, as you can see, I'm not I'm not wearing a very Christmassy shirt. It's not all, you know, red and green and so forth and has little Christmas trees on it. It's a, a Florida shirt. So in Florida, um, you know, it's sunny outside and, and, uh, and so forth. So uh, I'm wearing my Florida shirt because I'm celebrating Christmas in Florida, like a, a large portion of our audience is. So I want to uh, talk about today uh, the Christmas story as we're going through Luke 2. We've spent, and I encourage you if you missed um, episodes, go back and, and listen to those episodes. But today I'm focused on, it's entitled Ponder, Glorifying, and Praising. Those are three um, words that, that I'm going to be focusing on today, and it's taken from Luke 2. And I'm going to be reading verses 19 through 21, okay? And those are those are words, ponder, glorifying, and praising, that happened in this in in this uh, the story here. Um, and I encourage you that that should be happening in in your lives also, okay? So ponder, glorifying, and praising is uh, what we're looking at today. Let's read here today. This is Luke 2, and I'm going to read verses 19 to 21. It says this, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Okay, pondered is to, it's more than think, but it, it's kind of a, a deep thinking of it. Pondered and, and treasured it up in, in her heart. Yeah, it says pondered and treasured. Uh, so she's thinking of, and it's not like, uh, I think about something for a little bit. It's something I think about all day. I, I don't know. I can't think of a, a situation right now where they're, where I'm thinking on something all day. But there might be the kind of a situation where you're like, something something happened and you didn't handle it right. And you you think back like, oh, I wish I would have done this and handled it better. And you, you're thinking about that all day. How could I have done this better? Um, or there's a, a situation like that happened this week where... I was able to give somebody something that it, it was an amazing thing because they weren't expecting that at all and didn't know this was available. And um, I knew that it was like a perfect gift for this person. And so I thought about that. I didn't think on it all day. I thought about it a little bit. I was like, oh, this is a perfect gift. And then I was able to give that gift. And uh, anyway, I pondered it for a little bit, but not, not very long. Uh, but ponder is thinking long and hard about something. All right. Um, so the it says, you know, verse 19, where Mary pondered them in, in her heart. Verse 20 says, The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as had been told to them. And then it says, On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. Okay. So I... I well, it says there that the name was given by the angel uh, before Jesus was even conceived. Okay, a lot of times today, we're thinking up names for the ch uh, child. Um, I am a grandfather now. I uh, just became a grandfather um, uh, less than two months ago. So I was giving uh, all kinds of suggestions to the names uh, to the for the name of the child, and uh, naturally the, the parents didn't. Uh, appreciate my names as much as and they came up with their own name which was a great name um, and they came up with that name before just before the child was born um, but here in this case that name was given by the angel and it wasn't a name that was you know inherited from you know your, your father and so forth um, this was given uh, by the angel uh, but I want to focus on what the shepherds it says verse 20 the shepherds returned Glorifying and praising God for all, all the things they had heard and seen. It, they were glorifying God and praising God. So uh, they were honoring God with every, everything they did. It what they it doesn't say they honored themselves and said, hey, hey, look who we are. We saw Jesus. Never says that at all, that they thought they were all high and mighty because they had seen Jesus. They gave the glory to God. Okay. And so in the same way, I look at, at you know, the salvation I've received through Jesus. I want to glorify God and not put the emphasis on myself. Look at Todd. Uh, he has a salvation through Jesus and put the glory on myself. It's The salvation is, is through God. And it, it helps when you understand that 
So I, 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 salvation does not come from me. There's nothing I can do, uh, that no works that I can do to achieve it. Okay. No matter how good I am and the different things that I do, I, that, that doesn't provide salvation. Salvation is a free gift that I received and it's through the grace of God. It's nothing that I did, but it's the grace of God, uh, given to me. So those things I encourage you to, to do today, take time to ponder. Um, those things that, that, you know, the salvation that Jesus has given us, uh, through the birth of the birth of Jesus. And then I want you also to spend time glorifying and praising God for everything he's done in your life. Okay. Let me pray with you. Lord God, I thank you for this Christmas day. And I thank you for this time that hopefully today we can just spend time pondering and, and glorifying and praising you for everything that you've done in our life. And I pray that this would be a holiday where we would focus on you and spend time giving uh, today too and spending time with the family. But that we would focus this day on you uh, primarily. We praise you for who you are and the salvation you've given to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this series. And this series is not over. I still have two more episodes. Because Luke 2 doesn't end just with, oh, Jesus was born and that's it. No, it goes on for a little while. So uh, the next two days, we're going to continue looking at Luke 2. All right, Lord's blessing. I will see you tomorrow.